So today I want to talk about this very rarely photographed and not very well documented part of, of uh, that's so important on a truck, you know, of the F-150. Uh, that's the rear axle. So so this rear axle right here. So when you when you have a look at, at these axles, uh, axles are rated by the assembly, right? From lug nuts on one side to lug nuts on the other, includes everything, brakes, the tubes, uh, all the different things. So, so when you get an axle assembly, it has a rating, and it's always good for that rating. the The manufacturer can derate it based on, um, you know, based on the fact that they're going to, uh, they don't want you to go as high as as the maximum, that type of thing. They, they change it usually with wheels, uh, derated wheels or derated tires. Now, this is meant to be a resource for everybody, so I'm going to post a bunch of pictures like this one. This is my axle. Uh, that's not a leaky axle, by the way. That's undercoating. But uh, you can recognize this 975 axle at a glance, and I just want to put this there. You can stop and pause it, get your head around what it really looks like, that kind of pear shape, like it's, like it's a pear leaned over to the side. Anyway, and we'll get into the internals now of, of what's in this. So this is kind of a sideways screenshot of, of a, a diagram for the, for the axle and the parts that are in the axle. And um, I just want to kind of, one of the things to note is, is Ford uses the same axle shaft design and the same wheel bearings and seals and everything right through its whole lineup of, of 8.8s and, uh, and 9.75s. So when you look at these axles, um, you're getting... Uh, there's a there's a light duty internal axle and there's a medium duty and there's a heavy duty so the light duty is in the 8.8s uh, the medium duty is in 975s that don't have anything no max tow no tow at all and um, you know no max payload or anything so but anyway the other part is is the uh, you know the shell of the axle the tubing and, and the case in the 975 there's I guess there'd be three cases. There's the long with the long tubing is the is the Raptor axle, but on a regular F-150 there's two cases. There's one that has a fitting uh, for the electronic locker and one that does not have a fitting for the electronic locker. And so those parts are uh, the weight rating is the same right through. So it doesn't really change anything there. Um, so when you're looking at something and you see a weight rating, it's not relevant to the strength of the tubing or any of those other things. They're all the same. So now uh, I just wanted to kind of give you this exploded view. This shows you like the, that's a 12 bolt, uh, you know, rear end. So the the case on the back is is uh, the cover is going to be 12 bolt. The, so is the 8.8. So you have to recognize the differences by looking at them. Anyway, but you can stop and pause this here, and you can get some part numbers. We've marked on by hand on these sheets. Um, to, to kind of show you. Now the the uh, 975 has that FL3242-34 uh, C and D. So that's your those are your heavy duty axles. Now uh, A and F, well we'll get into that another time. Uh, that's that's the 8.8, .8, but then there's a there's a B and a, well we'll get into that right here, I guess. So so these are the axle shaft part numbers uh, for the 975 axle. So uh, I don't want to kind of confuse it because I have this picture in twice, but the um, the ones that are marked C and D, those are the heavy duty axles. Now the, the those heavy duty axles come in not just the heavy duty payload package, but any truck that has a towing package one. So towing package one is not the max towing package, that's just the tow package. So if you have a 975 axle and you have the tow package, you get these axles, these internal axles. Now, that being said, if you um, if you had an 8.8, uh, which comes with the low towing axles, or the low axle weight rating, you could insert these uh, to make your axle stronger for twist, but that's still not going to up increase the rating of the axle assembly because... Uh, the axle assembly is rated on everything, including brakes and the tubeness thickness of the walls of the of the assembly. So, now 
So this is the 8.8 inch axle. So I want to talk about this and you can see that this is more kind of square or rectangular. It's very easy when you when you look at this compared to the 975. Uh, you can driving down the street you can see the truck in front of you. You can almost tell what what engine he's using because you can see their axles and you'll be able to see if there's a badge on the back or not. So uh, you get pretty you get pretty good at this stuff after a while. Just pause this and really get a good look. So this is the assembly stuff for that. So there's your part numbers and you'll notice if you go back and forth the seals and the bearings and stuff between the two are the same. Uh, but the tubing and, and the case is different and the way the shaft is, is attached to the end of the uh, to the end of the case when it goes in is different. So the 975 axle is a three-quarter floating axle but the 8.8 .8 is not. So um, I, I'm not. I'm still not clear, and Ford it, it hasn't given me a clear uh, reference on this. But in a 975, if you break your axle, if you twisted the axle off, the wheel will not, or the axle will not slide out, um, and and have the wheel fall off. The 8.8, .8, we're not really sure on that. I can't get a. I've never seen it happen, so I don't know. But um, it it appears like it could be clipped in. But the flanges and stuff on the end are different. So, anyway, we're we're still uh, we're still out on that on that idea. Now, the the thing here is is what you notice with this one is uh, with the 8.8, .8, your axles are A and F. So A and F are the light duty axles. Um, now, when you go to the uh, the 975, the you can go up to the medium duty and you can go up to the heavy duty. Uh, from all intents and purposes, the, the first part of the number, FL32, 42, 34, is all the same. Uh, and it appears as though you could take an 8.8 .8 and increase that. So put those parts in. So um, anyway, the, um, the way they're clipped in is different. But, uh, but like I say, the, the parts are the same. The bearings are the same. Uh, but don't let that fool you. That does not mean that an 8.8 .8 inch axle is if you if you put these internals in it that it would weight rate uh, up to the 5300 pounds so that is not the case so anyway and here's another this will be another one you can kind of clip and stop and have a look but this gives you part numbers uh, you can see in the center there C uh, and D those are your left and right hand heavy duties um, B and I can't read that here but maybe F or, or E uh, those are your medium duty ones and the two at the bottom those are the HL version is the longer version and that's for your Raptor. So anyway there's all your part numbers uh, anybody that's looking or trying to make sense of the differences of the axles uh, this will kind of help you out I know it's not everything that you need you know to, to get out there and uh, do some heavy hauling but hopefully you find this helpful and uh, You'll use this as a resource to come back to and click and stop and write stuff down and, and go ask the questions to your local dealer.